Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I will be doing a wear test using the brand new Eve Cosmetics Your Skin Bad Better Foundation Plus Skincare. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about this foundation, if it will work on dry, mature, sensitive skin, then just keep on watching. No surprise right here, I was on my Instagram feed just checking what's new and it came across to the Eat Cosmetics account and I realized that they had a new foundation that nobody has talked about, I mean, none that I remember of. You know that I do hear Will I Buy It videos, so I usually check constantly the beauty news accounts to see, you know, what is going to come up next. And I haven't seen this foundation, so I went to Eat Cosmetics website and I check it out and I'm like, you know what? This is appealing to me. And honestly, we have seen a huge amount of eyeshadow palettes being released. And although I love eyeshadow palettes, these seem to be like, okay, let me do something different right here. And you know that I, I like to do wear chests and all of that. So I said, I think this is for me. Do I need it? No, I don't need it. But I also recall that Ulta carries it cosmetics. So I said, you know, wait a minute, before ordering from the website, I called my local Ulta, they had it, I drove there, I picked it up, and now I have it right here, Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare. And you know what, I own a couple products from It Cosmetics. I have the Bye Bye Foundation, this is a full coverage foundation, it has SPF of 50, which the new foundation doesn't have any SPF, and this one is a very creamy, I mean, it, it gives you that full coverage, but it gives you that, you know, like creamy dewiness to it. And I also have the CC Illumination. This one right here is lighter weight than the Bye Bye Foundation, but it's also very, very, very dewy. I love them both. They both have SPF, by the way. But these right here, they come each on 12 different shades. And by my surprise, this new foundation comes in 40 different shades. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo in cosmetics. Finally, yes, I mean all brands they need to step it up with the shade range. So I'm super happy to see that. This product right here costs $39.50, which is the same price as the CC cream and as the Bye Bye Foundation, which I find like, okay, this is perfect. It comes with one fluid ounces or 30 ml. It's made here in the USA. It has a shelf life of 12 months and it does have some skincare that, I mean, we know that there are a lot of foundations that they are coming out that they have a lot of claims and this is non difference right here. These have many claims. It says here that it's supposed to even the appearance of your skin tones in two weeks, that visible refines skin texture, and that it softens skin. It also is supposed to minimize the appearance of enlarged pores and imperfection, give you all the hydration, and that is a natural no makeup makeup effect. Okay, so if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for your stopping by. I do have dry skin, sensitive skin. I do have enlarged pores right here, right here, and I have, but it's more into mature skin. I'm already 40 years old and I have fine lines right here, fine lines right here. I mean, the common thing, you know? So uh, what I look for a foundation is something that, you know, give me hydration, that it doesn't emphasize my large pores, my texture. I do have a little bit of texture right now, right here on my jawline. And you know, that doesn't emphasize my age. <laughs> you know, that just make me look a little bit more truthful. So all of these claims right here, they always attract me, but there's so many foundations out there that they say the same thing all over again. But what I find out right here is that these foundation have certain specific ingredients that are, I mean, I haven't seen them in many foundations. One of them, I mean, like the first ingredient right here, let's take that out of the way, it's water. Then it has the methacon. But then as far as the skincare, it does have hippies acid. Now, hippies acid, it is a natural exfoliator. So if you have dry skin, dry patches, usually you know to even now the texture of your skin and make your skin a little bit you know like more even 
it's ideal to exfoliate to prepare your skin exfoliate moisturize and all of that talking about moisturizing it does have hyaluronic acid now that is not groundbreaking right now pretty much all foundations has hyaluronic acid and in fact on this ingredient deck hyaluronic acid is very down below but I, what i found interesting right here is that this foundation have urea so urea is a humectant and it's an ingredient that is actually being proved to help on the dryness of your skin in fact doctors use it for people that they have psoriasis or they have dermatitis and i think i mean like like i said i haven't seen much of that ingredient on a foundation and i think now with urea i know that sometimes you can at the beginning kind of like feel a little bit of like dryness because it's just repairing your skin barrier but i'm happy to see something like that here now to calm that you know between the hippies acid and then the urea it also has aloe so we know that aloe you know soothes calms the skin and then you have vitamin e and vitamin b5 and it does have though here caprylyl glycol so if you have certain sensitivity to coconut although it's not saying right here that it's directly derived from coconut but we know that usually that's the case so you may want to be a little bit cautious with that and do a patch test maybe on your hand and then it says here that it's water light perfect natural radiant finish so we'll see because it cosmetics like i said they tend to go on the very very dewy side and then it's also a medium coverage so that this is giving us with it cosmetics like even the your cc creams we find to be like of medium coverage while the bye bye foundation is really a full coverage okay my friends so let me show you how it looks the bottle right here it is actually glass and here you go this is it as well nice package and then let's see right here it has a pump so let's just go ahead and start with the application and then the shade that i got is medium warm 32 and i really hope this is the right shade because you know how it is right now there's no way to test anything so i'm just gonna go ahead and shake it really well because i can tell this is a very liquidy foundation that okay so what i'm gonna do right here it is on this side i'm not gonna apply any type of primer on this side right here where i have my enlarged pores i'm gonna apply the tatcha silk canvas in the liquid version which is this one right here and then all around my face i'm just not gonna apply anything else what else do i have right now my face my skincare which i applied it really early in the morning so by now it's already been all second <laughs> so that's that um, let's see right here i'm gonna leave my chin area without anything and then i'm gonna apply this same primer right here where i have my fine lines on just on this side of the face okay and then the other side we're gonna just let it be <gasps> oh my gosh this is Okay, this is like, eh, not super liquidy, but it has more of a runnier consistency than their other products. Yeah, it just jumped. Thank goodness it jumped to the other side <laughs> and that it didn't jump on top of me. Okay, let's go ahead and just apply some. This is about half a pump. And I'm just using this Eat Cosmetics double in the brush. This is such a good one. Now I do have freckles and I usually to cover them, obviously I will need a full coverage foundation, but it's never my intention to cover them. So I just let them be and peek through and be like, yes, we're here. Okay, this definitely has that medium coverage that it says, absolutely. I mean, you can make it thinner if you use a sponge, so maybe we can use a sponge on the other side of the face. You know, I feel like I need a little bit more foundation up here so I'm just in just a dot. Okay, so far so good. It doesn't have a lot of radiance to that though. I thought it was going to be a little bit more radiant. I feel it's a natural and even on, on the edge to be kind of like a soft matte or natural, just completely natural. But I, I, up to right now, I don't see any radiance to it. Okay, I'm gonna apply on the other side the foundation with a beauty blender. 
Okay, and the shade match right here, it's perfect. <laughs> I say that with a beauty blender, I can see a little bit more radiance than on this side right here. And the radiance doesn't come from the foundation itself, it's just, you know, that extra humidity that comes from, you know, the beauty blender being dumb. So that's that right there. But other than that, in general, the foundation is extremely lightweight, very, very thin in formula. Now, another thing is um, what I'm seeing right here is that it's not going very, very even. I mean, I mean it's not the blending. It seems like it could be the skincare ingredients, like for example, the Hepix Acid that has that exfoliating property that it may be that is you know, acting right there as an exfoliation and it just looks in some areas just a little bit more kind of like powdery, like right here, right here. Let me get you closer so you can take a quick peek to how it looks the foundation up on application. Okay friends, as you are able to tell, this is a medium coverage, but if you have discoloration or like me that, you know, you have freckles, your freckles will still peek through, it's very lightweight. I wouldn't say sheer, but it has a little bit of that translucency from a natural foundation. Yeah, so this is very interesting. Now, another thing that I always like for you to take in consideration is when you watch reviews to know like where does the person live at. Like for example, I live in California and the area that I live is closer to the beach so it's not super dry but there's not much humidity as say for example if you are in Florida. So those things are something that I want you to take in consideration. Also the time of the year that you know the person is reviewing right now is summertime and today is going to be around 80 degrees the top here on my area right now it is about 8 30 ish in the morning i just decided to turn on the camera and brought you right here so i can apply my bronzer and my blush and see how the products lay on top of this foundation and i'm not going to apply any highlighter so that way you know we don't feel like okay the foundation is radiant or anything like that so far i actually feel that it's a little bit drying that's the truth. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Tom Ford in bronzer in gold dust. Okay, the bronzer has layered really well on top of the foundation. It hasn't moved it at all, and that's another thing with me. I don't like to set my makeup with powders in general. I do use sometimes finishing powders. I'm not gonna do it today. But let me tell you that the foundation still looks on the drier side uh, and it's looking a little bit drier right here, like actually kind of like peeling. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Okay, let's move on with a little bit of blush and I'm going to be using this Tom Ford in the shade 03 blush. Okay friends, I'm going to go ahead and just bring you a little bit closer so you see what I'm seeing right now with this foundation. Oh, fingers crossed this works at the long run. But I don't know if you're able to see right here, it looks a little bit on the drier side. And this is usually where I get my dry patches, right in this area. Okay friends, I'm just going to go ahead and finish my eyeshadow look of camera, everything else. I'm going to go by my day and then I will give you a couple check-ins so stay tuned okay my friends here to a quick check-in on this foundation let me get you closer don't get scared <laughs> here's the side that I applied the Tatcha here's the side that I don't have any primer as you can tell I mean my pores they are not being extremely enlarged by the foundation but you can I mean you can still see them here obviously they are being diminished now it is a hot day today <laughs> we're in the 80s and <clears throat> yeah so the foundation my oils had come through and therefore the foundation looks I mean it does have that natural finish but it looks a little bit more radiant but again it's because my oils had come through so yeah it is around like 3 40 something in the afternoon it's um 
it's almost four so i'm gonna be giving a couple more hours to this foundation and then um give you my final thoughts now i you can see my texture right here i think you can see it there you go on this light you can see it better so it's not emphasizing the texture but you know there's not really a foundation that it will just cover you know the the texture it is there you know even right here there's some texture going on yeah okay my friends it is very late into the evening in fact behind my camera i have a big light i usually film in natural light but it's just late so at least you were able to see the application of natural light and then my midday check-in and right now um i think i'm ready to give you my final thoughts upon first impressions of using this eat cosmetics your skin but better foundation plus skincare so going back to the very first portion of this video when i applied it it didn't give me that radiant finish it was more of like natural soft matte finish look on my dry skin as the day progressed and because today was really hot on the area that i leave it was around 80 degrees i was you know I, I broke a sweat a little bit of a sweat and my natural oils came through so the foundation look a little bit more into that natural radiant finish but again that was as the day progressed in fact at that moment it really reminded me to this anastasia luminous foundation that same kind of like very lightweight consistency very natural skin light and this one although it says that it's luminous the anastasia one it is not extremely luminous it's not extremely dewy it does have a very beautiful natural finish to the skin so that being said my recommendation right here if you have dry skin like mine it is comfortable i do have sensitive skin reactive skin too and i didn't feel any itchiness or anything like that i felt though at the very beginning a little bit of tightening like my skin felt like a little bit like not super pulling but kind of tight in certain areas that being said i will suggest to prep your skin with a primer that it has a little bit of moisturizing properties kind of like this victoria beckham primer another one could be there's one by charlotte tilbury that it can give you a little bit of a glow i'm not talking about the hollywood one i will put it down below another one could be for example the glossier to the dewy one i mean there are so many different ones that they will give you that extra moisture you can even use an oil like rosehip oil or an oil of your preference marula oil you can use for sally too all of those it will just create a little bit more of that luminosity if you want to for this foundation otherwise like i said to me on my dry skin it's kind of like soft matte now i think this foundation will look amazing right off the bat for those who have combo skin or normal to oily and oily skin because like i said it wasn't really very radiant but it's very very lightweight and skin like it really looks skin like like for example this right here and this right here are extra creamy and they look i mean this is super illuminating this is more dewy it perfects your skin it looks very pretty but you can tell that in a way that you are using makeup and the only thing that i will say is that in certain areas where i usually break out where i usually have dry patches it look more dry other than that it has worn really well it also didn't emphasize my enlarged pores i mean you know the normal they were already there if you use like the Tatcha primer or any pore minimizing primer obviously that is gonna blur them out but really there's not like a big need for that and other than that it didn't emphasize my fine lines and whatnot i mean right now perhaps just a little but it is not like um it's not like piling or you know getting into my fine lines like some foundations can do you know that they create actual lines it's not it's is not doing anything like that okay my friends so i think this is the wrap for this video i will really want to know have you picked up this foundation do you knew that it was launching i would love to hear from you and do you plan to give it a try i would love again to hear from you and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads 
and come and follow me on my Instagram if you like this video. I hope that you can give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends, and until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.